It will be an emotional scene Saturday, I promise you. And uh, we're now joined by the head football coach at Boston College, Jeff Halfley. Uh, coach, always a pleasure having you on. Uh, we got a lot to cover, but let's start with the red bandana. I see the the uh, right behind over your right shoulder. Uh, what does this game mean to you, and how long did it take before you announced as the head coach that you said, man, I get it. I totally understand what this is all about at Boston College. Well, you, you, you read about it, and I read about it as I was preparing the interview and, and looking into Boston College. Um, until you get here, until you start to read about Wells and you read about, you know, the story of what happened and took place, and then you kind of, you know, you're integrated into Boston College, um, then you really get it. And the first time you, you see the guys out in that uniform and you see the crowd and you put the red bandana on your belt and what it represents and what an honor it is to wear that, um, it is special, very, very special, and I'm just honored to be part of it. How do you address it with your guys this week, uh, especially with such a big week? Florida State's coming in. We'll discuss what happened the last two weeks and how passionate that you've been. And we we heard you step up to the mic and say all the truth that you needed to share. Uh, but but how do you incorporate the red bandana with your team this week and speaking to them about it? Well, we spend a lot of time in the off season with it. We we take a full week and that culminates in a, what we call a red bandana workout, which is our hardest workout of the off season. We show them the video. We talk about 9-11 and we talk about Wells. And it, we finish, if you've ever been to campus, we have what we call the million dollar staircase that goes from lower campus to upper campus. We finish with a run up that and, and, and really trying to represent running up the tower um, so they can feel it, so they can be part of it. And, and we do that because it's hard when we get into game week. You don't have as much time. Um, you know, it was 9-11 this week. So I did talk to the team about it. And what's amazing is a lot of the players weren't even alive, um, but but we talk about it, and, and we spend a really good amount of time reflecting on it. Because when we put on the jerseys, it cannot be, and I've said this, it can't be about, you know, look at these cool new uniforms and these cleats. and No, that's not what it's about at all. It's so much bigger than that, and I want them to feel that when they put the jersey on. Um, I want to talk about what happened last week, uh, and I mentioned this on the air. In fact, I just mentioned it to you during the break. We are talking about it. Uh, your passion – and a lot of times, you know, you get a lot of coach speak, whether we're talking Team X, Team Y, uh, after a game. But you looked like you were really ticked off uh, with, with little things, little detail things. And I know it goes to coaching and players, and it's a, bit, it's a team effort here. But I've never seen you uh, in, in the, the mood you were in, especially after a win like it was Saturday. What would, again, we're going to play this in case you haven't seen it. So let me just play this real quick, and then I'll follow up with a question. So this was Coach uh, Saturday after a W against Holy Cross. We will play better. And if we clean stuff up in these two games, and that's, I will get it right. We are a good football team. This is a damn good team. And we have a penalty here, a penalty there. We keep them in the game. Two weeks in a row, we've kept teams in the game. And it's not going to work like that. It's not. But we will clean that up, and we will win games. We're good up front. We have good skilled players, and we have a good defense, and it needs to show. So I'm thrilled we won. I'm proud of the team, but this is, that stuff is going to end. And, and hear me loud and clear. We are going to win games, and I cannot wait to get back to work. Total transparency, Coach. Uh, I mean, did you sense that, hey, that was a moment to kind of make a message for everybody paying attention? Um, you know, I wasn't really thinking about anyone else. I think usually whether it's with you or the media, I'm a pretty honest guy. A lot of times I wear my emotions on my sleeve, whether it's at the end of the game and I have a hard time speaking after a win or you, you catch me in a team meeting and our team has seen me like that. I guess the media hasn't. Um, it, it's bigger than just winning the game. It's, it's how you play the game and it's, it's what we preach here. It's what I've preached here since I've been the head coach and that hasn't shown. And it needs to. And we're not a team that's going to have foolish penalties. We're not a team that's going to play with a lack of detail. Um, I won't play guys who do that. And they need to understand that. And I just, in the moment, that's how I felt. And I talked to the team at great length afterwards. Um, we have a good team. We're not playing good enough. And, and clearly, we're not coaching good enough. But if we clean that up, and we will clean it up, we are a good football team. And, and I just, it just kind of came out in the moment. Um, and, and I guess it, it got caught on camera. 
And a good thing it did. I think we all enjoyed your fiery exchange there. Uh, so how was this week of practice? Because you said you were really excited to get back to work. How would you describe what this week of practice was like there in Chestnut Hill? You know, we, we've practiced really well. I, I thought before both games, I thought we were prepared. I thought our guys were in a great place. Um, you could see there was there was intent in the small little details. Um, but I thought we had a great week. The guys responded well. They get it. We have great kids here. And, and they're not intentionally going out and trying to make those mistakes. Um, but but maybe some got caught up in the moment. Maybe some got a little bit tight. Maybe, maybe some responded in a way they shouldn't respond. Um, and they've learned their lesson. So we had a good week of practice. Our, our team is very close. Um, and it, it, it was good to get back on the field on Sunday. Trust me. Coach, what part of this team, offense, defense, special teams, or maybe something else, has surprised you the most after two games? And that could be a good thing or a bad thing. You answer it however you want. Yeah, I would say I'm pleased with our offensive line play. Uh, after last season, when we really couldn't do very much, we've run the ball well, we've protected really well. And I think those guys have clicked fairly, or felt fairly early. Um, obviously, it would be a big test. Um, I think this front is one of the best in the country that we're about to play. I think we have some good players up front. And if we're going to win games like this, those guys got to play really well. But I'm really proud of where our offensive line is right now, considering what we dealt with last year. You know, I think the key to that, uh, no disrespect to you or your staff, uh, Taylor and I are going to take complete, total credit for yeah. it. It's all about eating cheeseburgers uh, during the camp tours with the <laughs> offensive line. We really believe that that has been the catalyst for the turnaround. No disrespect. Yeah, they were all talking about that. They really enjoyed the time they spent with you guys there. So maybe you guys should fly into town tonight and take them out again and get them going. <laughs> we'll send you our addresses for our paychecks, for our royalties, for helping this offensive line. Um, defensively, when, when we had you here in Charlotte for ACC kickoff, I said, what makes you most excited about your defense? And you said really quickly, the D-line. Um, and I know – Pressure hasn't necessarily gotten home maybe the way you would have liked to so far, two sacks on the season. Um, how do you continue to drive that um, and, and make that a point of emphasis defensively? I think our D-line I, I has played really well. You know, in the first game, I think there were 50 rushes for 150 yards, which if you're going to run the ball 50 times, 150 yards is a pretty good day. Now, certainly, we'd like less than that. Um, we're playing good pass defense, a large majority because of the D-line. Quarterbacks are getting rid of the ball very quickly or they're taking off. I think we need to be more disciplined in our rush lanes. Um, I was disappointed. We played guys like Malik Cunningham very well, um, and I'm not sure last week we totally took that running quarterback as serious as we should have. Uh, we stressed it, but clearly didn't do a good enough job. Um, so we're going to have our hands full. We're going to have to be really disciplined in our rush lanes this week. Um, but our, our guys up front, they're playing well. And I know it might not show, but if you watch the film, that group has been pretty good. Coach, I hate to talk about this uh, next topic, but I have to bring it up. Uh, Hurricane Lee, uh, does it help you if we get a, a kind of a muddy track? I know you don't have grass, but if you get one of those blustery 45-mile-an-hour winds and all that stuff, do you want to have one of those ugly environments, or does it not matter? We're just going to go play the game. I think we just got to go play the game. Um, you know, we're practicing the stadium today on Thursday, and as I finished, I brought the guys together, and I said, guys, I don't know if it's going to look like this. We have blue skies and sunshine right now. I don't know if there's going to be gusting winds. At the end of the day, don't think about it. Don't worry about it. We got to put the football down, and we got to play great. Um, you know, we'll find out what it's going to be like fairly quickly, and then we'll have to adjust accordingly. I've watched a lot of games this morning of teams that played in similar situations so I could be prepared and get them prepared. Um, but it seems right now, I think it's going to hit a little bit earlier. Um, but we'll, we'll find out soon. Um, this will be my first hurricane game, and it's kind of ironic that we're playing in uh, Boston and, and a Florida team's coming up here for that. Yeah, how about that? Makes absolutely no sense. Uh, game two, Thomas Castellanos gets the start for you. What have you seen out of him at quarterback and, and how you're approaching that this week with Florida State coming to town? Yeah, I thought he did a really good job in the opener. Um, you know, he brought us back in that game. We scored 21 points very quickly, threw for two, ran for one, and we really had a chance to end it in regulation if it weren't for a, a few uh a few things that happened at the end of that game. I thought he was efficient. Um, he can play in the pocket. He can he can move, run around, make plays with his feet, but he's very accurate on the run as well. Um, he's young, and I think he's learning, and I think he'll get better and better. I mean, he's a true sophomore. The last time he had started a game was in high school. Um, he's coming in some relief duty, but 
starting a game is way different than coming in as a backup. So hopefully now he's a little bit more comfortable. Um, and he's going up. He's going to go up, in, in my opinion, one of the best defenses that I've seen on film probably since I've been back in college football. Wow. Now that, now wait a minute. Now that is a strong statement. I mean, you, listen, you had some unbelievable teams at Ohio state in the big 10. Now that you've jumped in the ACC, you've seen some big time. So you're telling me this Florida state defense on tape to the nine, you're telling me you're putting them up there top, whatever you want at one, two, three period. Yeah. There, 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 there's no doubt. Um, you know, they're really good up front and it's not just, I think it's because of the depth. And they just, if you watch that LSU game, they just bring in, you know, D-lineman after D-lineman, um, and they just overwhelm teams in the second half. I feel kind of the same way on offense, which makes them so good. You know, they'll bring in different tight ends, different running backs, different wide receivers, um, and they just roll guys. Uh, they've done a great job uh, creating depth with very talented players. Um, but that defensive line, the linebackers, the corners, They've done a really nice job. It's a very, very talented defense, and and I would definitely say it's up in the top. This is, in my opinion, this is one of the top teams that I've seen on film uh, since coming back from the NFL. That's a bold statement. That's strong. That's a strong statement. All right, so, Coach, if I put this scenario up for grabs for you, if BC wins this weekend, it's because blank. We cleaned up the details. Um, We executed a high level. We played complimentary football. Uh, won the possession time, created takeaways, and um, you got to score touchdowns in the red zone, and we got to be great on third down. I know I just said a lot, but <laughs> it's going to take a lot. This team has scored a lot of points. I think they've 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 scored more than thirty five points for for seven straight games, which is the best in the country. Um, so you're gonna you're gonna have your hands full with that. But we just for me this game we got to get back to playing clean. We got to get back to doing what we've done since I've been here, and we just can't beat ourselves first. And then, then we'll have a chance. And then we got to go execute at a high level. We got to coach really well. And I'm excited. This is going to be a challenge that I challenge our guys after that game. And um, they'll be ready for it. Coach, always a pleasure. Uh, we had a great time visiting you up in Chestnut Hill and your class act, an easy dude to root for. Stay safe, stay healthy, and best of luck this weekend and the rest of the way. Yeah, I appreciate you guys having me on. And I hope we will see you soon. You got it, Thanks, coach. coach. Take care. Best of luck. All right.